بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از ڈاکٹر رضوان احمد آئی ایم ایسوسیٹ پروفیسر آف بایو کیمسٹری ایٹ انڈیپینڈنٹ میڈیکل کالج ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو ول بی ان اسٹیٹ آف گڈ ہیلتھ دا ٹاپک آف ڈسکشن فار ٹو دے از پلازما پروٹین بفور گوئنگ ان ڈیٹیل وی مسٹ نو دی آبجیکٹو آف دس چیپٹر which you should be able to discuss after studying it. And these objectives are listed as under you must be able to discuss the major functions of the blood. You must be able to describe the principal functions of serum albumin. You must explain how heptoglobulin protects the kidneys against formation of damaging iron precipitates you must able to describe the role of ferritin transferrin and ceruloplasmin in iron homeostasis and also describe the mechanism by which transferrin transferrin receptors and human homeostatic iron regulatory protein that is also known as hfe protein it interacts to regulate the synthesis of hepcidin which is a key regulator of iron homeostasis and also you must able to describe the general structure and functions of five classes of immunoglobulins and the uses of monoclonal antibodies starting from the major functions of the blood as the primary avenue by which the tissues are connected to each other and the surrounding environment this is the blood and the blood that circulates throughout our body and perform a variety of functions these include delivering nutrients and oxygen removing of waste products conveying of hormones and defending against the infectious microorganisms these myriad functions are carried out by diverse set of components that include cellular entities such as red blood cells platelets leukocytes water and electrolyte nutrients protein and hormones and all these components comprises in the plasma so here are the different functions which are listed as respiratory functions which is performed by the blood nutritive functions excretory functions maintenance of normal acid base balance regulation of water balance regulation of body temperature defensive mechanisms transport of different hormones transport of metabolites and the coagulative functions so these are the functions which are performed by the blood now starting with the plasma proteins the plasma is a liquid medium of the blood in which the cell components namely the erythrocytes leukocytes platelets these are suspended the difference between plasma and serum is that the serum is that fluid which is separated out after blood coagulates and the serum does not contain fibrinogen and other clotting factors on the other hand the plasma contains all the cells and it is centrifuge after adding of anticoagulants like heparin or potassium oxalates and it separates out as a supernatant so plasma consists of water electrolytes metabolites nutrients protein and hormones 
the concentration of total proteins in the human plasma is approximately 6 to 8 grams per deciliter. The proteins of the plasma are a complex mixture that includes not only the simple proteins but also conjugated proteins such as glycoproteins and various type of lipoproteins. In this slide we will discuss the different techniques for separation of plasma proteins. It is a complex mixture of proteins and the several techniques are employed to separate it. An age-old technique which is based on the use of varying concentration of ammonium sulfate. This is known as the salting out. The plasma protein can be separated into three groups which are fibrinogen, albumin and globulin. And the second technique which is analytical technique for the separation of plasma this is known as electrophoresis. By this method five distinct bands namely the albumin alpha 1, alpha 2 globulins beta globulins and gamma globulins so these are different bands which are present and easily recognize the different ranges of these plasma proteins now this is the technique of electrophoresis this is the technique of cellulose acetate zone electrophoresis. In this diagram, it is shown that in the A, a small amount of serum or the other fluid is applied to a cellulose acetate strip. And the electrophoresis in electrolyte buffer is performed. After staining, it enables to separate the different bands of protein which can be visualized on the strip. And there are two poles which is positive charge poles and the negative charge poles. So, albumin which is, uh, which is visualized in a properly more large band as compared to the other proteins starting from the left that is the albumin going towards its right it is the alpha 1 globulin alpha 2 globulin beta globulins and on the left which is which is closer to the negative charge plate that is the gamma globulins so these are the bands which has appeared uh, after the electrophoresis technique there are very uh, severe diseases which can be diagnosed with this technique and if the concentration of these bands differs, uh, different um, serious diseases can be diagnosed by this process. Like multiple myeloma, this is a sharp and distinct M band which appears in the gamma globulin fractions. If this M band appears in the gamma globulin, so we can diagnose a disease which is named as multiple myeloma. Alpha 1 and alpha 2 globulins, if they are increased, they are the marker for the presence of acute infections. On the other hand, decreased albumin with the sharp and prominent alpha 2 globulin. If these bands are prominent, then the patient might be suffering from the nephrotic syndrome. And if the gamma globulin band is diminished, the patient might be suffering from primary immune deficiency disease. And the alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency in this disease, there is complete diminished alpha 1 globulin band. So these are the different five diseases which can be, which can be diagnosed by this technique.
starting with the albumin it is a major constituent of plasma protein having 69 kd8 kilo dalton it is a major protein of human plasma having 3.4 to 4.7 grams per deciliter and it makes up approximately 60% of the total plasma protein about 40% of albumin it is present in the plasma and other 60% present in the extracellular space the half life of albumin is about 20 days it migrates fastest in the electrophoresis at alkaline ph and precipitates at the last in salting out technique regarding the synthesis of albumin albumin is extensively and exclusively synthesized by the liver and the liver produces about 12 grams of albumin per day representing about 25% of total hepatic protein synthesis and half of its secreted proteins it is initially synthesized as the pre pre proteins its signal peptide peptide is removed as it passes into the cisternae of the rough endoplasmic reticulum and a hexa peptide and the resulting amino terminal is subsequently cleaved off regarding the functions of albumin it performs very distinct functions we will discuss one by one the first we will discuss its osmotic functions regarding the colloidal osmotic pressure Albumin is responsible for 75 to 80 percent of osmotic pressure of the human plasma, due to its low molecular weight and large concentration. It plays a predominant role in maintaining the blood volume and the body fluid distribution. Hypoalbuminemia. It leads to the retention of fluid in the tissue spaces. and this condition is also known as edema in continuation of the functions of the albumin the second function is the transport function the albumin has an ability to bind various ligands thus act as a transporter for the various molecules these molecule includes free fatty acids calcium certain steroid hormones bilirubin copper and variety of drugs which includes sulfonamides the next function is the nutritive function the albumin serve as a source of amino acids for the tissue protein synthesis to a limited extent particular in the nutritional deprivation of amino acid the buffering action among the plasma proteins albumin has a maximum buffering capacity due to its high concentration and the presence of large number of histidine residues in it which contribute maximally towards maintenance of acid base balance and it exerts very low viscosity now we will discuss the clinical significance of albumin the first important function is the blood brain barrier the albumin free fatty acid complex cannot cross the blood brain barrier hence the fatty acids cannot be utilized by the brain the loosely bound bilirubin to the albumin can be easily replaced by drug like aspirin in a newborn if such drugs are given <coughs> the release bill ribbon gets deposited in the brain resulting in a very severe disorder that is known as the kernicterus 
and it is a rare kind of preventable brain damage that can happen in a newborns with a jaundice. The second clinical significance, significance of albumin is the protein bound calcium. The calcium level is lowered in conditions of hypoalbuminemia. The serum total calcium may be decreased. The ionic cal calcium remains the same. And the tetany dead, uh, does not occur. The calcium is lowered by 0.8 milligram per deciliter for a fall of 1 gram deciliter of albumin. So one thing is clear uh, in the as a significance of albumin in the case of protein bound calcium tetany does not occur. Now we will discuss the drug interaction the two drugs having the same affinity for the albumin when these drugs are administered together they can compete for available binding sites with consequent displacement of other drug resulting in clinically significant drug interactions for example phenytoin interacts with the dicumerol And the very important clinical use of albumin is that albumin has also been used for the treatment of hemorrhagic shock and in the burn cases where the excessive amount of fluid has been lost from the body. Albumin is a negative acute phase protein and its level falls in the presence of inflammatory cytokines such as interleukin 6. These are the important features of the albumin which is very important plasma protein and during the electrophoresis if the uh, sample it, is, it, uh, it was taken from the cerebrospinal fluid on the positive pole a, uh, another uh, band will appear that is known as the pre-albumin. So when pre-albumin band is visualized is, uh, it is only in the sample of cerebrospinal fluid and if we will take the sample from the blood then the first positive pole uh, band prominent band will be the band of albumin so concluding the discussion of today's lecture we have discussed the major functions of the blood and the plasma protein the separation of these plasma proteins and the very important uh, plasma protein that is the albumin its synthesis and the main function of albumin and the clinical significance of albumin you can also uh, read this topic from your textbook that is the Harper's which is uh, prescribed by the University of Health Sciences. You can also take uh, a view of uh, Harper textbook also. Okay guys, we will discuss our next plasma protein inshallah in the next lecture. Okay, Allah Hafiz.